John Beasley Murray and Brian Lamb did what I still think is probably the purest, most beautiful example of open education I've yet to see. They said, you know what? We spent thousands of dollars on infrastructure, servers, right? When we have probably the single greatest open educational tool the world has ever known, Wikipedia. Why don't we have students working together as part of a semester-long class on Latin American literature, building and shaping and researching various articles? John Beasley Murray did this. He had three of his students' articles were featured as part of Wikipedia. They were featured articles during the semester. Tens of thousands of students saw it a month, hundreds of thousands saw it a year. This became a model. The infrastructure was being supported by Wikipedia. And you had this kind of brilliant model. The students, I think at the end of the semester, were bedraggled and beat up and intensely worked. But think about this sense of reward to know that your work and your research was informing and helping hundreds of thousands of people find information about the stuff you were researching. A remarkable model. Purely open infrastructure, open technology, supported by faculty and students. Now this is a model that didn't go away. 2013, you have a group, FemTechNet, who's a distributed group within the states of feminists who are thinking radically about how technology shapes the way in which we think about questions of gender, sexuality, identity, race. And they started building frames around this, what they call wiki storming. And so they'll go into Wikipedia articles and they'll kind of intervene and start kind of reframing some of those narratives that maybe are so specifically framed around questions of masculinity and challenging some of those. And this has got all sorts of press in the states, you know, whether this is a good or a bad thing. This is a kind of radical intervention of technology and infrastructure that was free and open and available to anybody.